with Susan Brewer and I'd like to show you four large pedigree dolls which at first glance look the same but they're all slightly different. In the 1950s pedigree was the major UK maker of plastic dolls. Other two main companies were Roddy and Rosebud but pedigree had the most, were the most prolific. In 1952, they started calling some of their dolls Saucy Walkers. The Saucy Walkers had flirty eyes and they used to walk. Earlier, in 1949, they had registered the name Delight. Delight referred to a lot of their dolls um, at the faces. This is one of the most popular of the doll faces, a delight face, with the open mouth and the little teeth. And it was used on an awful lot of their dolls. This first doll is 21 inches high. She's a walker. Head turns from side to side. She has flirty eyes and her hair is made from sarin, which although it's a wig, it means it could be brushed safely and they said it could be shampooed but I'm not sure how long it would last if it was shampooed. This doll has got almost the same face but she's the same height, 21 inches. She too is a walker with a flirty eye action. But her hair or wig is mohair very very soft and you certainly couldn't wash that. It wasn't really even brushable. The third doll is a walker like the other two. Head turning from side to side but she hasn't got flirty eyes. Her eyes look straight ahead. a walker. She has just got ordinary strong legs and arms. Now all four dolls are marked pedigree on the back of the neck and on the back. And now I'm going to show you what they look like when they're undressed so you can compare the different bodies. Here are the dolls undressed. This is the first doll I showed you. As you can see, she's got the walking action with the head turned from side to side. And she is the flirty eyed doll. You can see the screws. The pedigree doll walkers have this screw. It's not painted, it's just a silver screw in the hips. The next doll is very similar. Again she's got a mama unit grid in the front just as she has. This is the mohair one. She too has got the walking action and hopefully you can see the flirty eyes and there, there's the screws in the hips. This is the third doll. As before she's got the walking action with the head turning. You can see the screws. But this one, if you notice her eyes don't move she hasn't got the flirty eyes. 
The fourth doll is completely different to the other three because she doesn't have the screws. So this is a non-walker, but she still has the flirty eye action. Just as with the third doll, she has got her mama unit in the back, but it isn't a grid like the first two dolls I showed you. This is an actual mama unit that would come out so that it'd be easier for repairs. But unfortunately, none of these mama units are working. This doll is plumper than the other dolls. She's also got smaller hands, more delicate. But that's the th four dolls undressed. So, here we are. Four dolls, similar faces, all made by pedigree. Three here, 21 inches, the non-walker in the blue, with a pink ribbon, 20 inches.